Hello and welcome to today's video. In my previous video, I was sharing everything you need to know about Bitcoin code, the BTC20 blockchain and our amazing NFT miners. So today I thought I would show you around our blockchain and our mining DAP so that you can see the NFT miners, how easy it is to connect to the node, how to disconnect from the node and how easy it is to mine Bitcoin code. But before we dive in, let's get a quick bit of housekeeping done. Public disclaimer. This could be a life changing opportunity for you. As part of this amazing product ecosystem, you will have access to new and innovative platforms created or discovered by We Are All Satoshi. This video is not an official company presentation and all information provided is personal opinion for personal promotion and educational purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor and I do not make any recommendations or income claims. I am merely sharing the information. You should do your own due diligence to inform yourself according to your own personal circumstances. OK, so now we've got the housekeeping done. Let's jump straight in and go to the blockchain, the BTC20 blockchain. And you can access that by typing scan.bitcoincode.technology into your address bar, and that will bring you directly to the scan site. OK, so now we are on the scan site. I'll give you an overview of the landing page. Now, this is a blockchain just like any other. Everything is completely transparent. Anybody can log into the website. Anybody can see every single transaction taking place. After all, that is the purpose of blockchain technology. It is complete transparency, a peer-to-peer -peer transactional platform. So this is our landing page. Now look, average block time, three seconds, total transactions are over 3 million, total blocks over 9 million, total wallet addresses over 9 million. You can see since we launched in October of last year that we have grown hugely, especially considering that Bitcoin code isn't yet on any exchanges. Now you can see the blocks being formed here and you can see the average Transaction is only taking two or three seconds. And you can see all of these different options at the very top that you can have a look through. So you can see the daily stats right here. So you've got the gas tracker, daily transactions around 5,000. So if I click on blockchain and I can go to blocks and you can see all of the blocks being created. And there, if you look at this top one, look, there's another one just being created now within a couple of seconds. And we can go and look at validated transactions. These are all the validated transactions that have been processed in the last, well, you can see on the right-hand side there, they, the last 19 minutes, 27 minutes, 28 minutes. This blockchain can process around 60 to 65,000 transactions per second, which is phenomenally fast. So if we go to tokens and we can click all, and this will give you the list of all the different tokens that are currently on our blockchain. Now look at this top one, the GT1X. This is our $50 miner. And you can see the total supply is 117,000. And we've got 17,000 holders. Now, again, bearing in mind that we only launched a year ago, and this isn't currently open to the general public. This is all $50 miners that are held within this community. You can see here we have an official USDT for the BTC20 blockchain. And you can see that there is currently over 36 million USDT held in over 4,000 holder accounts. And you can see here the GT10X, which is the $500 miner. And you can see that there are 14,000 of those held in 845 accounts. And you can see here the GT100X, 
which is the $5,000 miner. And you can see that there is 1,814 held in 60 accounts. Now, as you continue to look through these, you can see that we've got uh, tokens for Uniswap. We've got wrapped Bitcoin. Uh, somewhat, these are some that people have built on our blockchain. M Team, Chosen by Time, Wealth Token. You can see that we are an EVM compliant and people are beginning to build their tokens on our blockchain. Next, we can click on APIs and then you can review all of this background information. Now, I'm not a coder, so I don't understand any of this language used for coding. But, you know, if there's anybody out there that does understand it, this is a really good bit of background information for you. And you can see the Ethereum RPC. Again, this doesn't really mean anything to me. But if you're a coder, I expect that you'll be able to understand everything that is going on here. So again, completely transparent. You can come to this website and you can have a look and you can see everything that is happening on our blockchain. So remember, the purpose of Bitcoin code is to follow the footprint of Bitcoin. But obviously, it has been built with 21st century technology. So our blockchain is EVM compliant. The Bitcoin blockchain isn't. So this is giving everybody a second chance to be part of something huge. OK, let's go and have a look at the mining DAP. So this is the website, bitcoincode.technology. And that will bring you to the landing page for the mining DAP. And all you need to do now is click on COD20. And that will bring you to the dashboard of the DAP. So now that we're on the dashboard, all you would do is click Connect Wallet. And then you would connect your wallet. And you'll see your wallet address connected here. Now, for you, you won't have any statistics because obviously you haven't added the BTC20 smart chain into MetaMask. And since you don't have any BTCC or a miner, for you, the statistics will be blank. However, all of the information for Bitcoin code and the mining DAP will still show. So you can see here everything you need to know. Total supply, just like Bitcoin, 21 million. Current total market cap, over 1 million. And the current price is $65. And you can see the circulating market cap, the circulating supply percentage. And you can see here how many days until our first halving. We are fast approaching the first birthday of Bitcoin code. And again, we're following the same footprint as Bitcoin. We will have a halving every four years or every 210,000 blocks, just like Bitcoin. So this first four years and the remaining three years is going to be crucial for anybody who is mining Bitcoin code, because now is the time where you can mine the maximum supply of Bitcoin code, because the maximum supply, just like Bitcoin when it launched, is 7,200 every 24 hours. And in three years, we will have a halving, which will bring that down to 3,600 every 24 hours. So this three years is going to be crucial for everybody that is mining Bitcoin code. So let's scroll down to the next section. So you can see here the price again and that you can swap Bitcoin code for USDT and USDT that you can actually spend. And you can see B fuel over here, which can be swapped into USDT and you can use USDT to buy B fuel. Obviously, it is USDT for the BTC20 blockchain. You can see here, just like Bitcoin, 50 Bitcoin code every 10 minutes. And you can see in this account, I currently have 54 miners mining. This is my B fuel consumption. And this is all just uh, user statistics. And you can see more user statistics right here. And if we look at the bottom, you can see here total mining hash power. Now, this is the total hash power of every single 
NFT miner that is currently mining Bitcoin code. And this is the essential piece to the value of Bitcoin code because there is a cost to mining, just like with Bitcoin, at least in part. The value of Bitcoin is decided by the amount of Bitcoin that is released every 24 hours. It is decided by the cost of mining Bitcoin. Right now, the cost of mining one single Bitcoin is around $50,000, which is huge. But that is because over the last 14, 15 years, Bitcoin has had several halvings. So now there is only something like 450 released every 24 hours, which means it is harder to mine Bitcoin. It is harder to accumulate Bitcoin. It is the principle of scarcity that pushes up the price of Bitcoin. And it is the same with Bitcoin code. There is a cost to mining, and it is that cost which will give Bitcoin code its inherent value. Imagine what Bitcoin code will be worth after the first halving. This next three years is going to be very, very exciting for anybody who is mining Bitcoin code. OK, so let's look at some of these tabs on the left hand side. Let's start with mine. So this is the section that holds all of my NFT miners. And you can see these are all of my $50 miners. In this account, I have 54 $50 miners, all mining Bitcoin code. And you can see that so far in this account, I have mined nine Bitcoin code. And this is the amount of B fuel that I have consumed. Now, the benefit we have over Bitcoin in this ecosystem is that we do not to need to pay these B fuel costs up front. With Bitcoin miners, they have expensive hardware in their house that's plugged into the mains electricity, and they have to pay their electricity bill every quarter or every six months, whatever it is on their electricity contract. Regardless of what the price of Bitcoin is, if Bitcoin drops to $40,000, the Bitcoin miners will continue to mine and they will continue to pay their electricity costs. Why? Because they know that in the future, maybe, maybe next year after this bull run, maybe the year after, that Bitcoin will in all likelihood exceed $100,000 in value. But here we don't have to pay these B fuel costs until we want to. So when we mine Bitcoin code, we mine it directly onto this DAP. It remains on the DAP until you're ready to harvest. That's just another way of saying to withdraw it from the DAP into your MetaMask. So you can pay the B fuel costs and then you'll withdraw the BTCC and it remains in your MetaMask until you choose to cash it out. So you don't have to pay these costs in advance. And the added benefit as well is that we don't need to harvest everything in one go. If you look here, we have this harvest option here. If you click on that, you can see that you can harvest as little as 1% of your current holdings. So you can harvest in full or you can harvest in part. We are given so much flexibility on this DAP. Now, let's have a look at the next tab. So this is the nodes tab. Now, this hasn't been updated for a while. We've got roughly 400 nodes in our ecosystem, which is still very, very few. But we are selling nodes every single day. And that number of nodes is increasing every single day. The Bitcoin network has something like 80,000 nodes in total. And we are looking to increase the amount of nodes that we have in our ecosystem, which will increase the decentralized nature of Bitcoin code. So as our ecosystem grows, the amount of nodes will increase more and more and more. And I'm quite sure that over the course of the next year to two years, we will have easily over 2,000 nodes.
which is going to be a great achievement for our ecosystem and is going to give us a firm foundation for huge growth over the coming years. Now, the next tab on the left-hand side is the market tab. Now, this is the NFT marketplace where members of the public will be able to come and buy miners from members of the We Are All Satoshi community. The only people who can sell miners are members of the We Are All Satoshi community. And this is where we sell them. We buy them at one price. And obviously, as Bitcoin code increases in value and as we proceed through different halvings, these miners will become more and more valuable. Just like the ant miners for Bitcoin. Before this year's halving, the ant miners were around $1,000, $2,000. Now you go and have a look. They're selling for four, four and a half thousand dollars They've doubled in price because the cost of mining has doubled because the value of Bitcoin has increased and it will be the same for Bitcoin code. Okay, let's go to the next tab. So let's look at the tab Mint. So once you join We're All Satoshi and you buy your first miner, you'll receive a special code, which you'll enter into this little black box here. And your miner will be minted directly to your DAP and attached to your wallet address, your MetaMask wallet address, so that it is yours and yours alone. Let's look at the next tab. That's B Fuel. So this is where you buy B Fuel. So you can either transfer into the BTC20 blockchain USDT and buy BFuel. Or if you've harvested some BTCC, you can convert it into USDT and you can use that to buy BFuel. And once you've bought your BFuel, you will be able to use that to harvest more BTCC to hold in your MetaMask. Let's go to the next tab. So this is the bridge. So this is where you can transfer USDT TRC20 into your MetaMask on the BTC20 blockchain, and it will be converted into USDT BTC20 so that you can use it to buy BFuel. And in order to withdraw your USDT BTC20, we are launching a peer-to-peer -peer platform in September. So you'll be able to exchange your BTCC that you've harvested into USDT, and then you'll be able to swap it for USDT TRC20 and transfer it to wherever you want to transfer it to. And let's look at the next tab, which is the swap function. And this is where you can swap BTCC into USDT. And you can see in this account here, I'm currently holding 4.97. BTCC. And if I wanted to swap all of that, you can see the value of that in USDT is $323. Okay, so that's the overview of the DAP. Let me just show you some more of my miners. Okay, this is the account where I am holding all of my big NFT miners. And you can see I have two $5,000 miners. That's the GT100X and eight $500 miners. Those are the GT10X. You can see at the top here that I have currently mined in this account 94 Bitcoin code. Now, these miners have only been in this account for about a week. I move my miners every week, every two weeks, sometimes every three weeks. And that is a part of my mining strategy. Another benefit of being able to mine with NFT miners, that flexibility of being able to move my miners when I want. Now, this is a strategy that I've been using for some time, and it's a strategy that I explain in another one of my videos on my YouTube channel. You can see here, this is my current B fuel consumption. So fairly soon, I will be moving my miners into another account. So finally, let me show you how easy it is to stop your NFT miner mining and how easy it is to start your NFT miner mining. Okay, you can see I'm going to do this $5,000 one. 
the GT 100 X 275. And you can see it says unstake. So I'll click unstake. And you can see that's now interacting with MetaMask. And I confirm the transaction. And that's now processing. And you can see on the bottom corner, withdraw minor success. And now if I refresh the screen, just watch up here where it says my NFT. I'm going to refresh the screen. And you can now see I've got one NFT there. And if I click here on miners in wallet, here's that $5,000 miner. So when you stake your miner, you are staking it to the node. So you are essentially handing over custody of your miner to the node. And then you begin mining. When you unstake it, the custody of the miner is passed back to you and it is deposited in your COD20 DAP. And now to start it mining again, I simply click stake. And again, you can see it interacting with MetaMask for the transaction confirmation. And I click confirm. And watch in the bottom corner, it will confirm. Stake minor success. And now if I refresh the page, you'll see under my NFT, it will go back to zero. And there it is, back to zero. And you can see here, GT100X275. It is now mining again. That's how easy it is. Remember, with the Bitcoin miners, you don't have the flexibility of unplugging them and plugging them into somebody else's house and charging them the electricity used to mine your Bitcoin. So your electricity is constantly under use, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And of course, you have to be able to configure your computer to be able to link with the ant miner, to be able to link into the network in order to be able to start mining Bitcoin. But here we have simplified the entire process. So there is nothing more than a click of the button to unstake your miner or to stake your miner. The BTC20 blockchain is the first blockchain to combine proof of work with proof of stake. The BTC20 blockchain is built for the future. So looking at these miners and seeing Bitcoin code landing into my DAP every second of every day, actually for me is a very, very exciting thing because I can see the vision of where Bitcoin code will be when we have our first halving in three years from now. So hopefully you enjoyed that tour of the blockchain and that tour of the mining DAP. And hopefully now you can understand the vision of what Bitcoin code has to offer for the future. Bitcoin code is Bitcoin for the 21st century. It is the evolution of Bitcoin. So if you missed out on Bitcoin back in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, now is the time to become part of the We Are All Satoshi ecosystem, become part of the Bitcoin code ecosystem and be a part of that journey that you missed out on all those years ago. If you would have bought $100 worth of Bitcoin in 2010, you would have owned over 1,000 Bitcoin. And if you would have held that Bitcoin for just six years, that 1,000 Bitcoin would have been worth over $1 million. And if you would have held it for just four more years, it would have been worth over $20 million. Imagine how your life would have looked. And Bitcoin Code is giving everybody that opportunity all over again. Who knows if Bitcoin Code will ever reach the lofty heights that Bitcoin has, but it doesn't need to. We're not looking to replace Bitcoin. We are simply looking to replicate the footprint that Bitcoin left for us. We are simply looking to give everybody a second chance to be part of an incredible ecosystem. So if you'd like to find out more about how you can become part of this incredible ecosystem and benefit not only from Bitcoin code, but from all of the other products that we have available, 
then all you need to do is request more information in the comments. So as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notifications every time I release a new video. And if you're watching this on TikTok, please like and follow. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.